guys, how's it going today? Hope you guys are all doing really good. Uh, today we're going to take a look at this. This is a Boss Katana Mini. What a cool little amp this is. It weighs, I think my guitar cord actually, I know it does, it weighs more than the amp with the batteries in it. Yeah, this one runs on batteries and you can plug it in. But it doesn't come with a power cord. you got to get that separate, I guess. So, Anyway, this belongs to a friend. He stopped over last night. He just wanted an amp to have in his living room so he can, you know, play his electrics in there with a little bit of, you know, amplification. So these are really cool. Seven watts. It's got a four-inch speaker in it. And there's a little small hole. It's like an airport because it's closed in in the back. So what we were just listening to there has three different uh, settings. You have clean, crunch, and brown. I was just on the brown. You have a gain knob and a volume knob. Then you have a tone stacks, just bass, middle, treble. Then you got a little section over here that's for delay. There's no other effect in it except for delay. So you have a delay speed or time, and then you have a delay level, which is the amount that goes on your guitar sound, okay? So, let's, uh, let me see. Get a little slap back going, maybe. staying too well today it's kind of funky outside we had a lot of moisture yesterday uh anyway this thing's really neat the clean sounds pretty sweet really <laughs> amazingly this thing sounds big it almost sounds like you're playing through a you know, a 10 inch speaker or a 12, you know, just down low. It's got good bass to it. It's nice and clean. Doesn't make any noise at all. Nothing. I mean, when you, you take your hands off your guitar and there's no hum, no buzz. Uh, so that's the clean sound. lessen your attack a little bit, it will clean up. You can go from to, you know. It, it kind of cleans up a little when you back off the attack, from what I'm gathering here. Okay, so let's go back to the browns. Uh, now let's go to the crunch, okay? That's, we was just on the clean, now we're at the, the crunch. kind of almost like an overdrive thing going on there now let's go to the brown and again you have a gain control for each one of these tones okay in a volume <laughs> pretty sweet right there that's it's really compressed uh, in the sound on that brown one. Actually, all of the settings seem to be kind of compressed. Uh, from what I gather, this is all analog. 
take that for what you will, but that's what they they touting it, so. <laughs> Take a good peek at it, and uh, I'll bring you right in close, and you guys can really see what, what it looks like, and we'll go from there. I kind of like this. They make bigger versions, too, so let's, let's take a peek. Okay, guys, here we are. Oh, you could almost see the, the uh, holes in there, but it's kind of hard. Uh, I meant the speaker outlines. It's tough to see it through that little grill cloth okay so here's the the uh top panel katana mini so as i said you have a gain and volume for each and then that little slide switch gives you the clean crunch or the brown okay then you got a tone stack you got bass middle treble and here's your little delay section and you have your on and off switch the handle looks like something you'd see on a Fender Twin. Really cool. Let's look at the back. Alrighty, here we go. That's where your batteries are going to live. In there. Pretty self-explanatory. And uh, so it is cabinet voiced, I guess. I thought something was going on there. And you can plug power into it. But it says use Roland whatever that says fsb one u adapter only so they don't tell you what milliamps or anything to to uh, what it runs on so i'm guessing you probably just better buy that cord from them and it does run on batteries like i said uh really cool it it really sounds big for what it is uh i have a roland mic micro cube which is pretty much the same idea as this although I think this one sounds better maybe we'll do a shootout someday with a bunch of small little pocket amps but uh, the owner told me this was like a hundred bucks uh, it's brand new and uh, I think it's really cool you know if you want to take it somewhere where there's no power camping or something like that boom you got an amp and it sounds good. That's the main thing. You can actually enjoy playing with this. And from what I understand, uh, since it's analog, it takes pedals really well too. And it doesn't get all fizzy and like, you know, junky sound and distorted. That can happen with uh, digital stuff when you start messing with pedals in front of them. Uh, at least in my experience, but... They say these do take pedals quite well. So, all in all, uh, what a what a cool little thing. Let's get the tape measure out and I'll measure it. All right. So, looks to be about nine inches. And let's get the height. The height's about I don't know, a little over five and a half. And it's about four and a half uh, this way, depth, okay? Really neat. And like I said, I wasn't just cracking jokes. I swear to God that my cord probably weighs at least as much as that, maybe more. Uh, what a fun little amp. And uh, it's going to be a a staple next to his couch i'm sure <laughs> and again you know it's it doesn't take up a lot of room and uh you know it's not super loud it's not going to blow the windows out of your house and you can actually sit there and play at a comfortable volume and uh you know not affect anyone else in the room really and it has headphones too so 
there you go guys thanks for checking this one out i highly recommend these i mean that's a lot of a lot of bang for your buck in my opinion uh and again it's portable it's battery powered or you can plug it in uh you know i usually don't wouldn't do videos on stuff unless i thought it was absolutely terrible or it was absolutely good and this one is going in the good category a lot of these smaller amplifiers don't really you know they don't really cut it but, but they're getting really good at this stuff now anyway we'll see you guys real real soon thanks again okie doke